Hello and welcome back. Let's have a look today how we can create an interesting speed trail so we get this effect. I have already masked out the red beetle to save some time. Now your reaction will be to use a motion blur to achieve this effect. Let's apply the motion blur to this layer. As I want to trail only at the back of the car, I'm going to quickly mask out the parts of the motion blur I don't need. Remember that all filters in Affinity come with a default mask, so I can directly paint on the filter. Not bad, but this is not what I'm exactly looking for. It creates this nice motion blur at the end of the car, but is not the speed trail I'm looking for. Let's try another blend mode, like overlay. Hmm, not really. But by the way, I do like how the overlay mode makes the car really shine. Anyway, let's revert back to normal blend mode and remove the motion blur to try something different. What I'm going to do is to duplicate this layer and apply a detect edges filter. Keep in mind that this is a destructive filter. That is exactly the reason why I duplicated the layer before applying it. This creates a nice contour of the car, but I don't need all these colors. So I will convert this to black and white by adding a channel mixer and setting the mode to gray. If you're interested in this method, I also have a video on this subject. I'll put a link in the description. Next, I want to brighten the whites. We can do that by adding a curves layer and pushing up the highlights. Perfect. If I now change the blend mode to lighten, we get a nice white contour around the car. This will be our base for the speed trail. As with the motion blur earlier, I don't need the front part of the car. So I will mask this out again. If I apply a motion blur to it right now, it looks much better. However, the lines are a bit short. So, in order to get longer lines, I'm going to duplicate this layer and then rasterize it. If I make this new layer wider and then apply the motion blur, I do get longer lines. Perfect. I can fine tune the size of the layer to get the lines exactly where I want them. With the help of a curves adjustment layer, I can brighten the lines up a bit. Awesome. To make the effect a bit more realistic, I will mask out some areas like in the tire and the shadows. Excellent. One final step to finish up is to give the lines a color where they are originating from. In this case, it will be mostly red. To achieve this, I'm going to add a pixel layer as a child and paint with red. This looks pretty cool, but is not exactly what I'm looking for. I will change the blend mode of the pixel layer to color. Perfect. Next, a little bit of fine tuning on the mask. And maybe adding an extra pixel layer and paint with orange to match the color of the backlight. Not bad at all. The before and the after. I'm not really happy with the top part, so I'm gonna fine tune that by painting with grey on the mask to soften the trail on the top part of the car. The 
That looks pretty amazing. Here is a bonus tip. We can try to use another blend mode, like color burn or add, which creates more vibrant colors, if that is what you're looking for. The disadvantage is that we now have this area that is too bright. To fix that, I will add another mask and use a linear gradient to blend the light trail gradually. Pretty awesome. I hope you like this effect. If so, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks again for watching.